This is Keith Price's Curtain Call. This is Keith Price for the Curtain Calls, and we are at the press up fronts for American Psycho, the musical, starting previews March 24th and opening on April 20th. And again, I always have to say this to everyone that's my birthday. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Happy birthday. And I am talking to Rupert Gould, the director of this soon to be I'm and I keep saying this to everyone that I've talked to so far that this is going to be like the next conversational musical that people are going to be talking about a lot just because of the subject matter. Were you ready for that kind of conversation and confrontation when you decided to do this project? Oh, God, yeah. I mean, the kind of theatre that I like, I suppose, um, recognises that the hour or so you spend after the show is one of the really important parts of the show and and, and um, we want people to go out talking about it and going wow I you know maybe they won't agree with all our choices but we hope that they're stirred and excited um, and uh, you know I think New York in particular does this that wonderful thing where if a show is a talking piece whatever it's for you know even if it's like Spider-Man which was sort of like had all sorts of troubles you know the whole you feel the whole city is engaged with what is that show? And, and um, I love that about New York. There's no, nowhere else in the world like it. Rupert Gould with me here on the Curtain Call. Um, and again, as I went through the notes, i realizing that you actually already have completed a Broadway run of sorts with, once again, which uh, another piece that people were gaga about, King Charles III on Broadway. And... There's a lot of Tony talk, of course, as as per usual at this time. But again, that was another piece that kind of had a little wave of controversy because you're talking about the Queen of England being dead and what happens after her. How what it, as as a native Brit, how how much of a risk was that to take on as well? Well, it was, and, and you know uh, that played very differently over here than it to London because in London, Prince Charles is largely affectionately seen and yet I think over here Lady Diana is still incredibly cherished as, uh, and so he's seen as maybe the enemy at some level so it was a really different experience and that was what was sort of that's the, one of the great things about taking shows across the, across the Atlantic but um, you know I, I guess what unites both of them is um, they're both kind of interested in new ways of making you know King Charles was like can you really write a Shakespearean play about the royal family can the form hit fit the content here, you know, can you turn American Psycho into an electro musical? Well, that's why it's electro musical. That's why it's like Shakespeare and King Charles III. So, so that's very much the stuff that, that I love making. Yeah, yeah. I think you know, there's no point putting a story on on stage if you don't feel that the stage is the only place that can tell that version of it. And and you, know, this is you know, of course, you know, I didn't really know the movie, and in England, it's not a hugely well known film. I know it's a big cult movie over here. But, you know, this is in no sense an adaptation of the film. This is its own thing. This is a musical inspired by the book and, and to some extent the film as well. But um, it's, it's, it's a musical. It can only exist as a musical. Rupert Gould with me. And they're wrapping us up. They're taking you away. They're taking them away from me. But again, if you are coming to New York City and it's time for you to start making your theater plans now, March 24th is the... Uh, first preview for American Psycho with an opening date scheduled for April 20th and again th- another piece that people are going to be talking about completely in a different way but it's going to be part of the lexicon for this 2015-16 season so thank you very much for taking this time to chat with me you guys and if you get a chance you should try to see are they going to ever bring um, the, did they film the King Charles III to do like for great performances or something do you know uh, interesting no we're, we're actually in discussions at the moment about turning it into a, a film for the, with the BBC yeah so so again something else that you can look forward to coming from Rupert Gould thank you so much for taking time Thanks, thank you and we'll be back